Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a bargain or bust looking over the preview of the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Beauty Deals. So if you want to see my thoughts on them, tell you whether or not they are a bargain or a complete bust, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. It is time for the annual Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's a pretty big deal, but I remember being a young, young girl and my mom always loved shopping at Nordstrom. So I've always participated in the anniversary sale. It's always been something that I'm really excited about. So today, today's the sixth that I'm filming it, uh, Nordstrom launched their preview where you can can see what the deals are if you aren't familiar with the Nordstrom sale basically they take all of the items not all but select items that are coming up in the upcoming season and you get them discounted before they even really release so it's new items it's not like past season items and you can get some really good bundles particularly in the beauty event as far as the dates I'm taking a look so early access if you are a Nordstrom card holder begins July 12th so I will actually be in Florida at that time so I am dragging Jose to Nordstrom to take a look. I love going in person to really see the deals and the sale is going to open to everybody. Many if you don't have a Nordstrom card you can still shop the deals starting on July 28th up until August 9th. I will say though all the good stuff it gets sold out. It, that's just how it is. It sells out online really quickly. They do restock in between but still to guarantee what you want definitely make sure you're on it. Let me go over to the website right now. You're going to go up to the anniversary sale and and then we're gonna do beauty exclusives. I'm not really a fashion channel. Um, though I'll share probably on my Instagram what fashion pieces I'm interested in. But we're just gonna look at all of it. So again, this is early access, really just sneak peeks. Now, for beauty, it's not necessarily really sale makeup. It's bundles that have been put together that are a better deal. So we have fragrance, body care, hair, makeup, skincare all on the screen right now. And I can tell you right now, one thing that I will be purchasing is the new Lash Lash Enhancing Serum Duo. This is what I get every single sale. It's $95 for two new lash bottles. And normally, one bottle is like $95. So you get two for one basically. So I buy this every year. I love New Lash. It's the lash serum that I use that has given me bottom lashes. I used to not have any bottom lashes. I'm a true believer in them. So if you're looking for a good lash serum, this is a really fantastic deal. And I can guarantee that this works for you. I'm thinking about getting a perfume set. I don't buy perfumes too often. I love perfumes. I love the sets and the boxes that they come in. But my main focus is makeup. But look how beautiful this Chloe perfume set set is and this Versace. If I'm going to purchase a perfume set, it's going to be one that I purchase in person so that I can smell the product. So I won't be making blind purchases online with fragrance, but I might for the makeup. Um, Bare Minerals also has this set. I don't know. I don't really care for that if I'm being honest. There's also Revitalash. If you use Revitalash, it looks like kind of the same deal as New Lash, but with Revitalash. Bobbi Brown is gonna have a couple of deals that you'll see. Like this one I think is really cute. A full size crush lipstick and gloss set for $29. Two high end luxurious products for $29 is a good deal if that's something that you are interested in. The color looks very beautiful as well. A lot of these sets I notice are repetitive over the years, uh, but this is a good bargain. That's for sure. Uh, don't we all have Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara? They give it in every single gift with purchase at Ulta all the time. So I'm going to say that this one is a bust. Don't get this one unless you really love those products. But I feel like I've gotten so many better than sexes for free. So yeah, that's a bust. Bobbi Brown also has a cream shadow stick set. I've never used this before and I'm not really into Bobbi Brown cream shadows and cream shadows to begin with. Uh, so that's not something I would get. I love Nest Candles. I treat myself to a holiday set or when there's a Sephora VIB sale. And I'm thinking about treating myself this time. When I have a house, when I own my own place, Nest Candles exclusively. 
I love them. They're great. Um, they're great gifts as well. Who doesn't like getting very nice, high quality candles? Now, I don't know if these are different. Oh, yes. Best selling fragrances bamboo, grapefruit, ocean mist, and sea salt. Mm, and it's $34. That's a bargain. I mean, I know they're little, but still love that. If you have a, like a small office, great. You have a double dry bar dry shampoo. My mom uses that. I don't know if she likes it. And this is actually a really good deal if you like the Super Goop Body Mist Sunscreen, $42 for three. There's gonna be a lot of bundles with like multiple products of the same thing. For me, that doesn't make sense because I own a lot of, I own a lot of crap. Um, but if, if you see a product that you actually use and abuse, that might be good for you. Beauty Blender, Deborah Lipman. I went through a big Deborah Lipman phase where I really enjoyed their nail polishes. This one's really good. A super goop sunscreen. You have moisturizer and body sunscreen, it looks like, for $39. That's a bargain. This right here is a bust. You can get some nice ones off of Amazon. I'm just saying, I'm sure these are nice. These hair wrap towels, I use them, but I pick them up for cheap at like Ulta um, and I'm very happy. See, who needs this? Two NARS orgasms. I guess get one for you and get one for a friend, but to me this seems a bit extra. I love these hair ties. Maybe not slip brand. I mean, I'm sure they're very nice quality, but $45 <laughs> for eight scrunchies kind of hurts my soul. Like, how, why do you need so many Urban Decay all-nighters? I guess if you use it every day, but oh my goodness. The NARS Afterglow Lip Shine Lip Gloss Set. While it is a good bargain, I definitely think it's a bust because these kind of look relatively the same on the lips for all three. But that's just my opinion. You might really love those. Let's see, we have some Briogeo sets. Ooh, a really cute Sigma set. There are some good makeup stuff coming up, so don't worry if you're kind of bored right now, but I did want to cover all of beauty. This looked very interesting to me. Boy Smells. I love the name of that. The marketing is so cute, but they're moody, woody kind of scents. I tend to like sweet gourmand kind of scents, so I don't think this is my cup of tea, but it looks super duper cute. Um, I've never heard of that. I also was looking at the Diptyque earlier this morning. I just, I love candles. I always have a candle in my room when I'm filming. So it looks like also... $62 for all this vitamin and rich face base. I mean, if you use this every day, that is a bargain because this is expensive enough to begin with. So Hourglass has the Ambient Lighting Essentials Palette for $64. So I believe, I mean, it says this is limited edition. It looks like it is all new shades. I don't think, oh, sorry. I don't think they have anything like this that I've seen on their regular line. I mean, yes, they have stuff like it, but as far as those exact colors, if you're an hourglass collector, there's that. Bobbi Brown, I was attracted to this um, set for $65. I'm gonna pass on it because I know it's gonna be something I'm gonna talk about once in a video and then never use again, but it looks really pretty, but I feel like the Bobbi Brown stuff always goes to the graveyard and never ends up getting used. Um, at least I noticed the pattern. Same thing with the NARS that I'm gonna say about the Charlotte Tilbury. These are really, really cute and I love the sets. These always get me in store. Like I actually might buy this if I see it in store, but right now in my mindset, I'm just like, they all look the same on the lips for $68. This one is kind of a good deal, kind of. It's not the best value, but it's three good items. I haven't tried the Magic Serum before, but this setting spray is the best setting spray, hands down, that I've ever used. I swear it blurs the skin. And Magic Cream as well, fantastic. So I feel like this set's really good for what it is, and you're not getting maybe like a major discount, but those are all amazing products. So purchase at your own risk. Let's see, we, ooh, an Olaplex hair maintenance care set. I just bought the number four, I think, or number three. Anyways, Olaplex is a very good brand. Jo Malone has some amazing scents. I just love the aesthetic of Gucci in general. $98 for a perfume and a lipstick. I feel like that's a good deal. I feel like that's a bargain. Don't need it, but it's a bargain. Oh, this one I thought was really, really good. I won't be picking it up because I already have it. Well, everything in it. So there's a Pillow Talk set where you're gonna get the Pillow Talk wand 
a eyeshadow palette. This is an eyeshadow palette that I used for my wedding, a liner, a lipstick, and the mascara for $135. If you don't have those items, that's a really great deal. Definitely a bargain. That's one that I highly recommend. Now I'm mostly talking about makeup because that's my area of expertise as far as what's here, but there are some really great skincare and body products that it looks like as well. I just don't feel well equipped to speak on it. Don't pay $30 for some sheer lip balms though. RMS, I didn't even know they sold this at Nordstrom. Summer Essentials. $58, not something I'm personally interested in. Oh, this one hurts my soul. The La Mer, the moisturizing cream is so good, but <laughs> look at the price. A $1,500 $1, value, get it for $12.90. I just, I'll buy like little tiny samples of the moisture cream every now and then, but never ever will I buy that much for that much. My roommate in college, her name is Ange. Ange lived, died, breathed for this eyeliner. Like this is something that I would recommend for her. That would be a bargain if you solely use this eyeliner. She loves that eyeliner. I love Kopari's deodorants. I might add that, $32 for three of them. That's a good deal. I don't know about this Giorgio Armani. So I used to buy this all the time. Every anniversary sale, the ABH Brow Basics Kit for $33 to get two whole pencils and a clear brow gel. What a fabulous deal if you use this solely. I feel like the brow market has gotten a little bit saturated but in a good way because there are a lot of other amazing products so I don't rely solely on ABH anymore but if you're still using your ABH what a fabulous deal. What a bargain. Like who needs this many? <laughs> They're real. Ooh, I love whom. $35 for both of the hair sweet hair. These taste like candy. They're so good. And I don't know if it's in my head, but I swear the vitamins work. I might get that. I have some more Kopari stuff. Love Kopari. Good time to pick it up. I'm always also attracted to the MAC sets, but I'm happy I always pass every year because I never end up using them anyways. But how cute do these look? $35. I mean, if you're in need of lipstick colors, these are a bargain. But if you have a large collection like myself, don't waste your money. Luxie brushes are really good. They have one of my favorite eye brushes. I'm thinking about picking up a YSL lip set because I am always attracted to those. They always look so cute and I always pass because I don't need any lip products. But I think this year might be the year that I bite the bullet because their stuff is so cute. Okay, here's something that I am definitely getting. It looks so cute. This is the NARS Pleasure Trip Cheek Palette for $45. I believe it is limited edition and it looks really cute. Of course, I don't need it, but I am definitely getting it. It's one of the exciting perks of the Nordstrom anniversary sale is these new items specifically for the sale. So I will be getting that. Uh, Mac has this set. Don't get that. That looks boring. Bust. I guess that's good for the Laura Mercy. <laughs> like these double things, I just, they're a bit much. I don't know why you would need them. Laura Mercier caviar stick eye things that I heard were really nice are on sale. Lots of Lancome eye mascaras, primers, and the Bifacil remover, which is great. I don't know. I think this is a bust, though. Yeah, I don't think you need it. More cute lip sets. Um, for body oils. I don't use those, though. Okay, so this one, the Sunset Dreamscape Instant Look in a Palette Set from Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I have a billion of these pillow talks. I mean, okay... It's on my list to get just because of what I do and I cover a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. But man, they all look exactly the same. These are like the exact same colors, are they not? I am planning on getting it just because I do love these. I think they are so convenient. But we need some variety, Miss Charlotte. But I am gonna get that, so I'm totally a hypocrite. Tom Ford has this Cognac Rose Eye Color Quad. I'm passing on this one. There's another set that you'll see that I'm interested in. Um, it says a limited edition set of curated Tom Ford Eye and Lip Shades. So this is Cognac Rose. I'm honestly not even... I'm not that familiar with Tom Ford quads. I'm not sure. I believe it's limited edition. Like I haven't seen it before, but please correct me if I'm wrong. I only just recently really started paying attention to Tom Ford. Gloss set for $99. That's a lot of money. 
I'm gonna say bust on that, but I've never tried his formula, so maybe it's amazing. Oh, this is really good. To try out La Mer skincare, which you know costs an arm and a leg, $95. Mmm, moisturizing cream, cleansing foam, which is nice. I only know what I know about La Mer skincare because I've definitely stolen them from my mom or gone in her bathroom and just did her skincare routine in her bathroom, but that's a really good deal. Like, see how cute these YSL sets are? I just want one. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just want it. Okay, got some skincare tools. Love Suasu. Oh, look at this. A Louboutin Silky Satin Velvet Matte Lip Color Set. $155. I mean, if that ain't a bust, but can't get more luxurious than that. Oh, this is decent a charlotte tilbury magic cream magic eye rescue a magic serum set and they're full price or full size excuse me for 160 bucks it's a bargain i don't know if you need it but it's a bargain okay this is a tom ford set that i was talking about that i will be getting it is a eye color quad set it's 169 dollars but i think it's a bargain. So how beautiful does this eyeshadow palette look? It is in the shade, which one? We're gonna click on it. Coquette. And then you also get a mascara, which I don't really care for, but okay. Um, a liquid eyeliner pen, never tried that from Tom Ford. And a lip color in 80 Impassioned. I think $169 is a decent deal for that. And the color looks absolutely beautiful. Is it unique? No, of course not. It looks like the holiday Honestly, is this the holiday palette or the, I don't know. I mean, it, it definitely doesn't look like a palette I've never had before, but I do plan on picking that set up and maybe doing a review. We will see bust right here. $25 is a good deal, but this lipstick formula is so dry. Very, very dry. Trish McAvoy. My, this always gets my mom. My mom uses tra Trish McAvoy. It's cute. I love the case. I see why it gets her, but I always tell her no every year. $225. I like my uh, facial steamer from Vanity Planet. Much cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit expensive but yeah there we are I'm gonna close this off now that was me going over the entire beauty section for Nordstrom for their anniversary event let me know what you are planning on picking up I'm thinking right now I want the Tom Ford set the Charlotte Tilbury palette and the NARS palette so those are the, my poison right now I'm gonna sit on it and drag Jose to the mall when it opens. But yeah, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.